Hi there, everyone. How are you doing? I wish you all a convivial welcome. We are going to have a merry and enjoyable time together. I hope this talk doesn't make you doze off. The goal of this talk is to give you know the most dangerous spider in Australia. Let's get the show on the road. Spiders have a tendency to incite more fear than favor, as well as provoke phobias for many. And lots of the visitor to our shores has been more than a little concerned about our poisonous eight-legged friends. It's true that we have some of the extremely venomous spiders across the world, but Australia's spider reputation is larger than its bite. Records show no deaths from spider bites here since 1981. Spider venom contains a cocktail of chemicals, some of which could be harmful to humans, but humans are not actually the intended victims. Spider venom is made for small animals and delivered in small levels that, while often deadly to tiny animals, can be treated by bigger creatures. When injected to a horse, for instance, spider venom triggers the animal's immune mechanism to make antibodies to fight the effect of the toxin. Sydney funnel web, or Atrax robustus, with very toxic venom produced in large quantities and large fangs to inject it, the Sydney funnel web is undoubtedly the most harmful spider in Australia, and perhaps the entire world. Their venom has a compound that can attack the human nervous system, and alter the functioning of all organs and, when originating from a male, can kill. One in six bites causes a severe reaction, but since the anti-venom has been produced available, in 1981, no fatalities happen to be recorded. Other funnel webs. There are approximately 40 species of funnel web spiders in Australia, however only six have been reported to cause severe envenomation, half their bites cause severe envenoming. Each year, about 30 to 40 persons are bitten by funnel web spiders. But anti-venom is available and proved extremely effective. They feed on prey which range from beetles to frogs and appear to be commonly more active in the warmer months, between November and March. Redback spider, normally found all over Australia, most serious bites come from the female spider, which measures about one centimeter long and is reconnaissable by the well-known red stripe on its back, from which it gains its name. Their venom affects the nervous system, which is very dangerous for humans, however their small fangs make most of the bites ineffective. Envenomation can result in various effects, but the main symptom is severe and chronic pain. The mouse spider. You will discover eight types of mouse spider throughout Australia, and they're typically found in burrows, often near rivers or waterways, and can occasionally be found in suburban areas. Their venom is comparable to the funnel web spiders. Trapdoor spiders. These spiders are named after their habit of camouflaging the entrance of their burrow to trick their prey into falling inside. Found throughout Australia's natural or urban environments, trapdoor spiders cause only minor symptoms for humans, generally inflicting only localized pain. Trapdoor spiders can live between 5 and 20 years. White tailed spiders. Found in natural and urban areas across southern Australia. Unlike burrowing spiders, white tailed spiders are vagrant hunters and wander about at night hunting other spiders. Australian Tarantulas Australia has its own native tarantulas, though they're also known as whistling or barking spiders because of the sounds. Only six species have been officially identified, though it's likely many more exist. Despite their intimidating large size and hairy legs, tarantulas aren't fatal to humans. They can render painful bites because of their large fangs, but severe effects are rare. They can, however, kill dogs. Recluse Spider Also known as a fatal back spider, the recluse spider has potentially dangerous venom that can be hemotoxic, damaging the blood and skin as well. Alarming emails have circulated about this spider inflicting terrible damage to human tissue, but this was only a hoax meant to scare people. In 20 years that fiddleback spider's been known to exist in Australia, the range hasn't been increased and not a single envenomation case has been reported here, so despite the myth, 
This spider can hardly be considered dangerous in Australia, though they are a major cause of serious bites in South America. Moreover, they are known to only have tiny fangs to inject their venom and are not inclined to bite. Huntsman Spiders Widespread in Australia They are famous for being the bit scary, hairy, black spiders bolting out from behind the curtains. In reality, they are reluctant to bite and more likely to run away when approached and their venom isn't considered dangerous for humans. Their danger comes more from causing accidents by the terrified drivers who react to a huntsman jumping out from behind the sun visor or dashboard of a car when it's in motion. Despite their intimidating size, Huntsman spiders can be an ally in the house. They help with pest control by eating smaller insects. Common Garden Orb Weaver Spider As the name suggests, Common Garden Orb Weave Spiders are a typical sight around Australia. Their bites have only minor effects, such as some local pain, but they are aggressive. They're the most common spider species to bite. They measure between 1.5 cm to 3 cm and live in all the gardens, generally weaving webs between trees, on hedges or washing lines, in places where other insects are likely to fly and get caught in the sticky threads. Active at night, they hide during the day and rest with their legs withdrawn under the body, hanging off a thread under leaf or in the clothes hanging from the line. That concludes my talk. I hope you can benefit from my talk about the most dangerous spider in Australia. Thanks a lot for your time.